Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome back to my like workshop setup vlog thingy my bobber. This time we're starting somewhere else at a, uh, a different shop. So uh, a viewer named Al got this thing for me. <laughs> that is a uh, big bandsaw, which we'll take a look at in a second. Uh, if you have been following Steve Summers' channel, it's one of the channels I follow uh, for machining. He's been redoing his shop space thing, like he had a wall fall out and he's been fixing that. He has a buddy named Al. Uh, I have the same buddy who's also named Al. <laughs> so uh, I mean, we're gonna be loading this thing up today. I'm gonna try and uh, bring it over to the warehouse space and have it have somewhere to go. So the, uh, the little bit of backstory on this thing. So Al is uh, kind of into uh, auctions and he bid on an auction listing that was for a pair of bandsaws. He only needs one, and that was two years ago. So he said, Matt, I got this bandsaw for you, and I will keep it here until you have somewhere to put it. Uh, that was two years ago. I finally have somewhere to put it. I don't really have a use for it yet, but at least we can get it out of his space so he has a little more room for other stuff. So it is a 36-inch diameter bandsaw, so it's got 36-inch wheels on it. And an interesting thing with this style is it has the bottom wheel set up to go down into the floor, so the uh, table height isn't quite as high. So the total height of this thing is uh, eight foot ten, top and bottom. So we'll take a closer look at it in a second. I'm gonna try and get this thing down onto my trailer. I can't get close enough with the truck, so we're gonna try and get this thing out of here. The issue is this lip on the uh, concrete here. Well, it's off the ground. Am I high enough? Yeah, you got like four inches. Like another inch. Okay. Yeah, that's plenty. Okay, you're just getting over the deck right now. My paint! <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> Ma, ah. My trailer! You're gonna dent my trailer! <laughs> oh, no. I'm so sorry! <laughs> I bought some paint stripper for Steve, so I'll just get some for you and I'll strip it down and paint it up for you. Oh, perfect, thank you! You're welcome. Alright, so it's all loaded up and ready to go. We're gonna take a very leisurely drive over to the warehouse. Okay, here we are back at the, uh, the warehouse. A very long and uneventful drive across town. Uh, this needs to go in this door. So we're going to be lifting this thing, sling it onto the dock floor and going inside and then moving it from there. So because it's a little, this is, I'll be honest, this is very top heavy. So as this thing is moving, I'll be strapping it to the forklift because I'm more worried about it falling forward uh, than anything else. So very a lot of very gradual and slow moves are ahead of me.
I think I'm gonna leave it chained until I get the forks underneath it. Just so I don't knock it over by accident. <laughs> oh boy. Still getting used to driving the forklift, but having those adjustable uh, forks is nice. I'll do the pallet, so I'm gonna pick it up and uh, bring it closer towards the uh, the edge of the trailer. Also, now I can go ahead and unchain it. Strapped in, let's try and take this thing off of here. Okay, the best place for this thing is on the ground. That was uh, 
I mean, it was pretty stable, but it's kind of scary with something so top heavy, possibly, you know, tipping it over. So let's take a quick uh, roll around here. So let's, again, 36 inch diameter wheels. So the blade here, you can see it comes down here and goes, I guess goes up here and goes down here. So you got 36 inches between here. This looks like it's the resaw, probably like two feet, maybe 18 inches or something. The motor on here, I'm not, I can't see the tag because it's covered by this uh, guard thing. So I'll pull it off at some point and take a look at it, but it looks like a 10 horsepower motor. It's about the same size physically as the one on my bandsaw mill. That's the saw, it'll be here for a little while. I, I would like to clean it up and see how it goes from there. Um, I don't know when I'm going to do that, but at least it's here and it's out of Al's way. So thanks again, Al. Appreciate the, uh, the storage of the saw for two years. And because I forgot, Tenowitz is the brand name on there, so pretty big. Also, in case everyone's wondering about why it, there's a bunch of like White Sox stickers on there, this saw came from Chicago. Or it lived in Chicago at some point in his life, so <laughs> it's got some stickers. Anyway, while I was getting this thing in here, the next load of chair parts showed up. So this is another 100 and, I think it was 150 chairs, 160 chairs. So almost all the rest of the pre-orders are here. So if you order a number three or a number four or a number five, chances are it's gonna be shipping very soon. It's uh, September 3rd today. And I'll be shipping these on Saturday. It'll be shipping day, so. That's this stuff. So a little different, you know, picking up a bandsaw today and not necessarily getting the warehouse totally set up, but I'm getting there. Next time, the next little vlog thing, I'm going to uh, get the shipping area prepped for Cherokees. So I'm thinking this little line here will be uh, the packing line. So working from left to right. So when we get over here with the boxes, they're in the aisle ready to go down to the loading bay. So I have a bunch of uh, shelving to set up for all of the uh, packing materials and all that. Get some tables to bring in so we have somewhere to work and then uh, start packing those things. So uh, again, big thank you to everyone who's been following along with this, watching this kind of come together and all that stuff. It's, it's nice. So thank you everybody for all the support, all the, uh, the warm wishes as I build this thing, <laughs> this business thing. So. Next time we'll do some uh, more setup stuff and get the chair kits ready to go. So thank you as always for watching. I greatly appreciate it. For any questions or comments about the warehouse base, anything back home, anything on the side, anything back in the shop, please feel free to leave me a comment. As always, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, happy working.